As you know, we seniors are sometimes not very likable, let alone lovable. So Lord, could you please continue to keep the people of home instead patient and aware of why we are the way we are. And Lord, please remind them that the thing about old age is that you don't get a chance to practice. This is the first time I've ever been old. And it just sort of crept up on me. There were signs. Random hair growth, that's special. particularly that first time you go to brush a hair off your lapel and discover it's attached to your chin. <laughs> you turn your left turn signal on in the morning and leave it on all day. Non-life-threatening skin growths large enough to name after deceased pets and relatives begin to appear. And neck tissue seems to develop a life of its own. Last November, I was afraid to leave the house Thanksgiving week. Aren't you quick? <laughs> you do strange things as you age, like driving up to a curbside mailbox and ordering a cheeseburger and fries. <laughs> and Lord, I know you're aware that one Sunday at church I put my Dillard's bill in the collection basket <laughs> by mistake. And last Easter, after services at St. Cecilia's Cathedral here in Omaha, my husband stopped to talk to a friend and I went on out and got in the car to go home. Gentleman sitting behind the wheel said, oh, are you going home with me? <laughs> and I said, oh, Archbishop, I'm so sorry. I won't even mention driving into the wrong end of the car wash. <laughs> People get so excited when you do that. I don't know why the lady in the other car was screaming like that. I was just as surprised to see her as she was to see me. I also won't mention discovering that you're wearing mismatched earrings and going home to change them and ending up wearing the other mismatched pair. <laughs> and you know, Lord, that it's hard for old people to exercise. I did try to jog once, but it makes the wine just jump right out of your glass. <laughs> Well, Lord, you understand seniors and their care. And